This immigration detention facility south of Columbus has gotten very busy over the last few weeks with President Trump's zero tolerance policy at the border. We talked with one detainee by phone. Yes, I asked for asylum. They treat me very bad. They treat me very badly. Arturo is not his real name. He says he is 27 years old from Honduras with a wife and two young children. On May 5th, he says he and his seven-year-old son left their home in Honduras. He says it took him 12 days to get to Reynoso, a Rio Grande town in Mexico. On May 17th, he says they crossed onto the bridge approaching Hidalgo, Texas, and reached an immigration checkpoint. They told me I was a criminal and then I had no right. Have you ever been convicted of a crime in your home country? No, I have not been arrested for any crimes, not even small ones. They took him to Stewart, the sprawling, privately run, for-profit prison south of Columbus. It sits just outside Lumpkin, a small town with a courthouse surrounded by mostly empty storefronts. Attorney Michelle Lapointe says immigrants like Arturo are starting to swell the population of the Stewart facility. They're trying to protect their children. That's why they're here. And instead of getting that protection, instead of having access to um, the rights that they should have under U.S. and international law, um, their children are being ripped away from them. LaPointe is part of a team of attorneys now based in Lumpkin, providing free legal help for the adults detained at Stewart. Many of them affirmatively seeking asylum. I am uh, destroyed. I feel bad psychologically. I think it is inhumane what they are doing to children. Arturo says he had hoped to win his asylum case and enroll his seven-year-old in an American school. Even with President Trump poised to end the family separation policy, Arturo says he has no idea when or if he and his son will be reunited. In Stewart County, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.